Hi, good afternoon. I like to welcome you to Palm Praise 2 and peace and blessings be upon you and your family this afternoon. Now, the book, <clears throat> excuse me, that I have for you this afternoon is Coping with Your Partner's Jealousy. Now, it's been a minute since we actually read this book. The last time we were in this book, y'all, it was in 2020. Now, I do like to read my books in like a, a certain type of an order. So I was looking through my books the other day because I know we started a new book, you know. So I was like, wait, do we finish a book to start a new book? No, we didn't. But no worries. Now, in reference to this, I know you might think of the title, Coping with Your Partner's Jealousy. Okay, now you could think about this, either relationship-wise, because it is dealing with relationships, but you have different types of relationships <laughs> that you can use this information for. I mean, uh, there is relationships with uh, different states, uh, different countries. Uh, you could certainly take it in regards to like the hierarchy, different relationships. I know went a little deep there for you, but you could certainly use the concept of information in a book and take it to many different levels for the actual information that you can learn for beneficial reasons regarding relationships. And regarding the book, where we're actually going to pick up at y'all, is we're in take number four. And this is take number four of chapter number two. And the chapter two is triggers of jealousy and why they don't matter. And it reads as such. This section is lack of valid information. A lot of trouble and emotional distress is caused by lack of valid information. And jealousy is no exception. Your jealous partner may hear something that arouses her suspicion, may be told about something you allegedly did or said that seems to indicate a loss of attention or affection or may be the recipient of someone's malicious imaginative thinking. In any of these cases, your partner's reaction is not based on reality because she does not have complete or valid information. The outcome can be very unpleasant for both of you. Valid information can be difficult excuse me, can be difficult to obtain. And there are many times when the validity resides in the messenger. That is, you trust the person giving you the information. It is not the same as obtaining information in an investigation, audit, or other evaluation where supporting documentation can be found and produced. So there's some receipts with that. In situations involving people's motives, intents, and even alleged actions, there is unlikely to be supporting documentation. And in this age of digital photography, where photographs can be altered, you cannot even rely on the camera for validity and accuracy. Thus, your partner's jealousy can be aroused by hearing an innuendo, a suggestion of improper priority, distortions of real events, gossips, lies, or inferences. There may be no way to prove what your partner heard or saw. But even more troubling is that there are few effective means for you to refute your partner's allegations. Your partner and you must maintain a reasonable level of trust in each other so that when damaging information 
is received that cannot be verified. You both reject it because of the trust you have for each other. Trying to disprove hurtful, unverifiable information is futile or futile. I don't know if I said that correctly, y'all, but I'm going to spell it F-U-T-I-L-E. Consumes energy and time that could be spent in more productive ways and does not speak to the real issue, lack of trust. Self-reflection. Have I experienced any of these situations? Hmm. Such as my partner responding to an innuendo? Hmm. Do I engage in any of these actions, such as gossip? Hmm. Filling in the blanks is our next section. Let me see. Yeah, we have some time to finish this section. One of the most fascinating things about how the brain processes information is its tendency to fill in the blanks. That occurs when something may not be seen, heard, felt, or smelt, smelled. But if the person thinks that it should be present, her information processing adjusts to include it as if it were present. The person is then convinced that it was present and that the perception is accurate. This is one of the reasons eyewitnesses are notoriously inaccurate. Because everything is not as it seems in regards to when you're viewing it. But okay, filling in the blanks like it's Jeopardy. I mean, you got all the letters, but you're missing some vowels. You're going to guess a vowel. You're going to pick the vowel to get the word. But back to the book for the section, filling in the blanks. An example of this is when several witnesses are asked for a description of the offending vehicle in a hit and run accident where several people were present. The vehicle may be described as a blue pickup, a red minivan, a green sedan, and a two-tone station wagon. If asked about the vehicle's model, the witnesses may come up with a wide range of answers. Questions about the year of the vehicle may produce even more confusion. Everyone saw the car, but no two saw the same thing. Their brains filled in some of the missing information. Something similar can happen to trigger jealousy in your partner. For example, suppose you come home with a smudge of lipstick on your cheek. What really happened was that you ran into your mother when you went out to lunch and she kissed you. You think that you have removed all the lipstick, but there is a little left. Your partner fills in the blanks. Lipstick mark means you kissed another woman. If your partner's jealousy were not easily triggered, she might just point out the lipstick and you could simply recount what happened. On the other hand, if the situation did trigger her jealousy, you might find yourself in a fight without realizing it. Without realizing, sorry, I put, I filled in the blank. That word ain't there, y'all. Let me go back and get that sentence. Okay. On the other hand, I'm going to slow it down. If the situation did trigger her jealousy, you might find yourself in a fight without realizing what happened. Or she might give you the silent treatment. The discussion up to this point has focused on thoughts and how they can trigger jealousy, the differences in the ways people take in and process information, and how thoughts can incorporate faulty reasoning. We now turn to the other immediate components of immediate factors, images, actions words, and clothing. So at this time, we are going to stop take number three. I would like for you to stay tuned. Certainly hit the like button. 
share, and subscribe if this is your first time coming to Palm Praise 2. And to know when I upload another video, just hit the notification bell and you'll know when I'm coming with something new from me to you here on Palm Praise 2. So our next take, we're going to be going into images, okay? So until then, I certainly want for you to be well, to take care, to be safe, be blessed, and it be at thy will. I'll talk with you soon here on Palm Praise 2. And so until next time, later y'all.